The kind of a lawyer you are depends in large measure upon your character. If you're going to point the way, you need to be more than skilled advocates. You need to be decent human beings trying to solve problems. You need to be teachers as well as advocates and draftsmen. You can do this best by personifying the lessons learned from being a good example. Historically, the legal system developed as a means of resolving differences and preserving the peace. The pursuit of justice is a very noble path, but obtaining justice is often very elusive because what is justice to one is considered an injustice to the other. In some ways, a more noble effort is to resolve differences by being a peacemaker. I again quote from Abraham Lincoln who advised, discourage litigation, persuade your neighbors to compromise whenever you can, point out to them how the nominal winner is often the real loser in fees, expenses, and waste of time. As a peacemaker, the lawyer has a superior opportunity of being a good man. There will still be enough business. End of the quote. John W. Davis, senior member of the New York City law firm of Davis Polk, spoke about promoting peace. Said he, True, we build no bridges. We raise no towers. We construct no engines. We paint no pictures unless as amateurs for our own amusement. There is little of all that we do which the eye of man can see. But we smooth out difficulties. We relieve stress. We correct mistakes. We take up other men's burdens. And by our efforts we make possible the peaceful life of man in a peaceful state. Before the wounds of injustice can heal, there must first come a feeling of peace. So, in a sense, a lawyer who helps make peace becomes something of a healer. <laughs>